Witnesses see the gold plates. Joseph Smith and Oliver Cowdery finished translating the Book of Mormon. Jesus Christ wanted people to read the Book of Mormon. He wanted them to know Joseph told the truth about the gold plates. Jesus wanted people to know the gold plates were real. Joseph Smith was the only person who had seen the gold plates. Jesus chose three other men to see the gold plates. The men were called witnesses. The men were Martin Harris, Oliver Cowdery, and David Whitmer. Joseph took the three witnesses into the woods. They prayed. An angel came and showed them the gold plates. He showed them the writing on the plates. Jesus told the three witnesses to write about the things they saw. Joseph was very happy. The three witnesses would tell other people the gold plates were real. Now people would know Joseph told the truth about the plates. Jesus told Joseph to show the plates to eight more witnesses. The eight men held the gold plates in their hands. They saw the writing on the plates. All the witnesses wrote about the gold plates. They said they saw the plates. They said the gold plates were real. The words the witnesses wrote are in the Book of Mormon. Joseph Smith had translated the plates. The witnesses had seen them. Joseph did not need the gold plates any longer. The angel Moroni came to Joseph. Joseph gave the gold plates back to Moroni. Now the Book of Mormon was ready to be printed. Joseph took it to a printer. Joseph did not have money to pay the printer. Martin Harris had a lot of money. Jesus said Martin Harris should share his money to pay the printer. Satan did not want the Book of Mormon to be printed. He did not want people to read it. Wicked men tried to stop the printer. The printer did not work on Sundays. One wicked man went to the printing shop on Sundays. He stole some pages of the Book of Mormon. He printed the pages in a newspaper. Good men made him stop stealing the pages. Jesus wanted people to read the Book of Mormon. Wicked men cannot stop Jesus' work. The wicked men could not stop the printer. At last, the Book of Mormon was printed. Now many people could read it. They could learn the gospel of Jesus Christ.